So at the end of uh, season three, um, we saw um, Trick kind of right off into the sunset in a way. Mm -hmm. uh, is there still going to be that romance in his life going into the new season? Um, there's a couple of hurdles in his way and distractions kind of coming his way uh, that kind of, that's getting kind of, that's off to the side. Okay. Um, as it was, like, even throughout season three, he was always kind of like, yeah, Stella, no, Stella, yeah, Stella, <laughs> no, Stella. So you'll see a little bit more of that. Um, yeah, you'll see a little, you, yeah, he, he kind of puts the brakes on for a bit. But I'm hoping, he's been asking, it's like, yeah, to bring, you know, to bring her back. He needs some happiness. Yeah, totally. And she... Yeah. She was great. She was fantastic to work with. I mean, we really liked working with each other a lot. I know that scene. Everyone was just cheering so hard. They're like, yay! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was also nice to see you get out from behind the, the bar, bar yeah. for a change, taking totally. a lot more of an active role. Yeah. Um, is that going to continue? Are we going to see you outside of the Dal even more in the upcoming season? You certainly see Trick outside of the Dal. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. Yeah, he's uh, yeah, spent a couple more days, extra days on, on locations and stuff this year. Ooh, okay. So, <laughs> you'll see him out and about a bit more, yeah. Okay. Yeah, as things are getting, you know, serious, more and more serious, he's, uh, you know, he's got to keep an eye on everything and try to protect his granddaughter or keep an eye out. Yeah. Has stuff been revealed about uh, Trick? Has stuff has still, still surprised you about learning about your character? Oh, for sure. Sure. Uh, even his past. Like, I mean, I, you know, I created my own kind of like historical arc for him in a way. But, uh, you know, as we go forward, they clarify more things from the past. And, uh, and I mean, that's one of the things that's so great about playing Trick is that you've got this enormous life to access. And uh, and so you know we're gonna we're gonna see a little bit more of, of, of that life uh, in season four and uh, some of the cause and effect and reasons for his the way he has been the way he is. There's one thing I can't recall, and maybe you can um, fill us in. Does Trick know who Bo's father is, or is he in the dark as well? I can't recall if that was ever addressed. <laughs> I don't think it was addressed. Okay. Not, not yet. Um, yeah. And uh, that's yet to be determined. Okay. Okay. So at this point, you don't even know if he knows. Or you do, and you're just not going to tell us. <laughs> I'll take your smile as a, <laughs> as a good indication. That's something I've always wondered, is just how much Trick knows and holds back yeah. for the safety of others. And also, like, because that's what it almost seems. He's more like a protect, like he's protecting people. He's trying to, yeah. He's yeah. He's trying to protect a lot of people. So he kind of plays. Yeah, I think, and then, you yeah. know, yeah, you know, if you look at the kind of classic hierarchy of like king and then, you know, mm -hmm. soldier and warrior, <clears throat> you know, Trick's the king and, and Dyson's his warrior and, you know, for those first two seasons, it was clearly Trick was trying to get to know her without influencing her in her path, mm -hmm. but still trying to keep an eye and, and make sure that, you know, she's safe mm -hmm. while she figures her way. Um, <clears throat> and I think that's, I think that's a, that's kind of a, the thing that Trick does. He's, and he's, and he does it with more and more of the characters, like even with, with Kenzie, he's, he's protective of Kenzie. Um, yeah, and then, you know, Dyson and Hale are protective of Trick, and, you know, it's just this kind of everybody's got each other's backs, and, uh, yeah, so. When you first got Trick, did you early on know that uh, Bo was your granddaughter, or was that... No, that's something I knew, always knew, and I kind of, for my own, my own ability to play the role, um, I'd made up my own backstory, like I said earlier, um, but... Uh, and I knew there was some sort of family connection. In some way, we were connected. But I didn't know specifically. And then, I don't know, I think by the 
end of season one, I, I, I knew that it was, and then, and then, and then when, when, when were they going to let you, the, the audience know that that was the relationship? And it took, you know, another 13 episodes or so, right? Mm -hmm. From like when, well, or 10 episodes <laughs> until we could release, or they, they wrote that scene where it's like, no, I'm not this, I'm not that. And then there's like this whole, and it makes me, it chokes me up actually, <laughs> um, a little bit when I think of that, that reaction. I'm like, you know, even on offset, you know, every once in a while, Anna will walk by and go, hi, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's cool. So there is kind of like a family uh, thing between uh, you and the rest of the cast? It's oh, for sure. For sure. For sure. Even in the crew, too. You know, like you shoot on location in sketchier parts of town, you know, like, you know, you know that a grip's got your back if something gets crazy or whatever, or, you know, the security or, you know, it, I mean, we're, we are a huge family, like, and it's been a lot of the same crew for all four years that we've been doing this, almost five, really, because we shot the pilot a year before the first season aired. <laughs> and, uh, a lot of the key people are the same people still, and um, you know I think that's a that's a testament to the production, and also a testament to 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 the whole the whole the whole show in, in itself is that the cast wants to keep coming back, the crew wants to keep coming back, you know Scott wants to keep coming back, <laughs> like we, we you know it's so exciting and it's such fun and, and like every year is like this whole new challenge for the writers to create a, a new arc for everybody and and uh, and it's always surprising and exciting even to us and like you know we do read throughs of episodes before we shoot them right like the day before and then you get like tweaks on the scripts and whatever but you know at the end of every read through we're all we're all like woo nice one wow that moment I was like whoa that's gonna freak people out and it's like that line people are gonna twitter like tweet about for days and like you know and so then like moments become really precious to each individual actor and to the writers and it's, it's fantastic because it shows that, 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 that everyone still cares and and I think that's what translates onto film and onto the screen. And uh, and I, I don't think that magic is going anywhere. You know, um, that core group of people are are really feeding that fire. And I don't think they want that. I don't want that fire to go out. I'm happy to. I'd do this for you know another decade. Mm -hmm. Easy. I'd, I'd happy to retire as Drake. You know, it's like some actors get worried about getting kind yeah, of caught into a into a into a thing. But Trick's so wide, he's so big, mm -hmm. he's got so much going on, like he can be a dad, he can be a grandpa, he can be the mystery guy, he can be a hard ass, he can be a softy, you know, it all depends on who he's with and talking to, but like, there's just so much room to play in Trick that I don't, I don't see myself getting bored of it. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, bring it on. And uh, I'm also, you know, I've done, I've worked very hard through different roles and getting things. And the trick is just like, it's it's the gift. It's the gift role. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I have friends who are like, man, I would love to play a character like your character. And I'm like, I am blessed. You know, mm -hmm. and I, uh, you know, I just got to keep saying that to myself. I'm, this is awesome. Yeah. It's always great to hear it because there's always like there's always that one actor who's like, oh, I don't want to keep doing this role. Like, yeah, don't want to get typecast. You don't want to. And you can totally understand that for certain actors and for like you know and or like especially younger actors. Mm -hmm. right? Like like I mean look at look at like William Shatner right like he's a young guy when he got that role Captain mm -hmm. Kirk and then he it took him a long time like in to the last him. maybe five ten years he's actually shaking that. Mm -hmm. right? Whereas I've kind of went you know I was already getting closer to the twilight yeah if I could say that the twilight of my life when Trick came along so I'm yeah. happy to kind of you know keep wrapping it up and maybe get a couple of really sweet film roles film roles in between <laughs>